Hello and welcome back everyone to Skyrim Leveling. We are here once again with Tamriel and we are working again more on enchanting and alchemy. So, uh, last time we increased our enchanting all the way up to 99 and our alchemy I think is sitting at 52 if I remember correctly. So, uh, our next step was to work on alchemy and in order to do that, We'll need to use our high enchanting skill uh, to make some fortify alchemy equipment. That fortify alchemy equipment needs to be on four different pieces. It needs to be on a uh, ring, on a amulet, on a uh, headpiece, as well as a gauntlet. I think that sounds about right. So. We'll need to make a couple of those uh, via smithing. Uh, probably just craft up some basic stuff that we'll be able to turn into, uh, well, good quality uh, fortify alchemy. And then with that fortify alchemy, we'll be able to uh, make uh, stronger potions. Then we'll make a fortify enchanting potion once we get we have our alchemy level up to max. And then we will craft some more fortify alchemy stuff with the better enchanting. Or enchant some more fortify alchemy stuff. And go back and forth a little bit. And we've got the perks to do it. With a great sacrifice to our heavy armor. And we very want, we very, very much missed that during our uh, um during our Monday stream, we tried to fight a dragon, and it was really tough when uh, the dragon kind of just one shot. Sometimes it was two shot. We were lucky with the two shot. Let's go ahead, load up Tamriel, and we are starting again in Whiterun from the stream game. <laughs> with that, I think we have... Oh, I guess we haven't fully leveled up yet. Let's see. 53. I'm going to go and check with Arcade. Oh. Let's go ahead and turn on our uh, display settings. Please give us HUD and please give us a crosshair. Thank you. I do that for picture taking. There we go. Arcadia, can we get any more training from you? Oh, right. I didn't want to because you are getting expensive. Expensive, expensive. 1600 per level, and that's just going up. So, we've only got 6,000 right now. Uh, we don't have any more equipment that we can get with her. I mean, more ingredients. Uh, we checked for ingredients. We could get a little bit more, but it's not going to help us out too much. So, we're heading home to make us uh, uh, some... Well, to smith us some gauntlets and some headpieces, I think. What should we make them out of? We have plenty of uh, dwarven metal. Maybe we make some dwarven stuff. Just some basic uh, dwarven helmets, dwarven gauntlets. Grab some steel. Let's grab some iron. And I think we'll need some leather as well. Uh, I'm slow. Leather. I'm not sure if we need leather, but I know we need leather strips. Let's see. We could make... Oh, we could make the brawler stuff. I think I'm going to make specifically for... Uh, specifically for this, I think I will go ahead and make one set of iron, then like one set of steel, and one set of dwarven. Then my last set, maybe I'll make orcish or something. I'm not exactly sure how many times I have to go back and forth, though. We'll make iron helmet. And... Uh, iron gauntlets. We'll head over to steel. Make some steel gauntlets. And a horn helmet. Because I think it looks better. I steal Nordic, Nordic gauntlets. There we go. 
And then we'll make some dwarven stuff. A set of... Or a dwarven helm. And dwarven gauntlets. And we're out of our calcum, so we can't make the orcish stuff. Which is fine. We're not going to make ebony either. Let's see if we can put all these things back and be able to move. Uh, dwarven metal. There you go. Okay, we're good. Let's just put the other stuff away. Iron. There you go. I guess we still have armor plate metal. I am putting stuff in there, right? Yes, I am. Okay, good. I was just making sure I wasn't putting or taking things out. Oh, yes. The sigil stone. That was for some conjuration stuff, right? Interesting. Ah, yes. Once we get uh, more magical levels, we'll be able to uh, summon a permanent ally. Or a permanent... We'll be able to summon a permanent summon, like a Ashenok or something of the sort. Uh, let's go ahead and drop off our uh, leather again here. Nope, that's keys. Nope, not that's timing rack. Get me out of here. Leather. There we go. I think it was a helmet and a pair of gauntlets that we needed for alchemy. Makes sense. You do magic stuff with your head and crafting stuff with your hands. A little bit of an overgeneralization, yes. Okay, so we currently do have the uh, Elven Bracers of Extreme Alchemy, as well as the circuit of, Circlet of Extreme Alchemy. We might be able to make things better than that, though. We have our enchanting skill. I think we have all of our enchanting perks as well. Where'd it go? Enchanting. Enchanting. I passed it a couple times. Where is it? There it is. We have all the perks that we need that will actually increase the skill enchantments of enchanting. And then alchemy, we have all of the perks for that as well that we can get at the moment. Uh, what about apparel? Do we have uh, jewelry and such? Halsimo's ring. I don't exactly remember what we, where we got that from. I am just gonna put those up there. Elven bracers of wielding. I got those just in case we didn't have the one-handed enchantment. And gauntlet or it's the equipment to the old gods. Oh, I guess. One second. I've got the shields to give to our mannequin here. Uh, where'd you go, shield? Dragon plate shield. There you go. I don't have very much dragon plate stuff right now. But there you go. There's your shield. Do you have any other mannequins to uh, to decorate? You are blades. Uh, no, you're orcish. You are ebony. You are blades. Okay, looks like we don't. That's fine. I'm going to go ahead and... Well, equip the ethereal crown. Nope. Before we equip it, rest. And then equip the ethereal crown. So we'll get our well-rested benefit. There we go. Uh, mage stone, well-rested. And we'll also want the ethereal crown. There we go. And I want a little bit of jewelry here in order to equip or, yeah, uh, jewelry for enchanting as well here. Silver garnet ring, I'll take one of them. Amethyst ring, silver, I'll take one of them. And let's go with the... Uh, Silver Sapphire Necklace. We'll take one of them as well. 
silver, silver jeweled necklace, gold necklace, silver necklace, gold and ruby circlet. I guess those are actually able to be used as headpieces as well, the circlets. Didn't think, it, didn't think of using the circlets, but we do have some of those we could use. I think I'll just use the uh, armor that we just crafted for that, though. Uh, anything else we can grab here? Kind of wanting to use a bunch of different, uh, uh, like, one color for everything here. I mean, a different color for all of the different things we're going to be crafting. Uh, just to keep track of which one's which, kind of. And aesthetics. All right. Using the Arcane Enchanter now. Uh, can we disenchant things? We can disenchant Elven Bracers of Alchemy, which will give us uh, Fortify Alchemy. Elven Bracers of Wielding, which will give us Fortify One-Handed. That is going to be our number one important... Uh... Yeah, that is going to be the most important enchantment for our personal gear that we're going to that we're going to get since that's the only possible way we're going to increase our damage enchanting now increased to 100 just by disenchanting those few items all right so let's see what enchantments we can put here iron gauntlets we can get up to uh four to, or 25 percent more powerful uh, before that, though, we're going to go ahead and... Do we have it on us? We have a potion for Enchanter's Draught, which is going to increase our enchanted items by 15%. I'm going to equip... I don't know if this has anything to do... Or has any effect. I'm going to equip the Slow Time Shout, though. And then I'm going to... Uh, use the potion. Hey! Slow time. And then we're going to use Arcane Enchanter. Use Iron Gauntlets with the Fortify Alchemy Enchantment with a uh, Grand Soul Craft. Yes. And then Iron Helmet. Fortify Alchemy. Grand Soul. Yes. Uh, gold necklace, uh, fortify alchemy, grand soul, yes, and then we got, we need a ring, ring, uh, gold, ring, oh, jeez, where are the rings, silver, there we go, grand soul, there we go, okay, not exactly a matching set, but, uh, it'll have to do. Uh, so we only had a limited amount of time for that potion, so I wanted to use it to the most, or best of our ability there. So now, we should have a bunch of gear, uh, for all four pieces that we, uh, should have fortify enchanting. So we can, or I mean fortify alchemy. So with that, we can grab our items here. Where are they? I would like to drop off some of this armor. Let's see if I can put it over here. Just so that we'll be able to have a clear inventory for all of the... So that we don't get confused like we did last time there. Arm of the Old Gods, Boots of the Old Gods, Kelsimo's Ring. That's a quest item. Okay, that's for something else then. Enchanted ring. Uh, that's what we usually wear. I'll leave that there. Gauntlets of the old gods. Come to the old gods. We now have uh, iron equipment that it makes created potions 26% more powerful. Which is better than the circlet that we had. Boots of flame suppression. Those are quite nice. I think we were using them earlier to deal with uh, things like lava and such. 
I have another silver garnet ring. I would like to uh, remove that silver garnet ring, please. Because that is going to be a little bit confusing. Okay, so now we can go over to Potion Crate Crafting. And here's the thing. We don't know exa we don't exactly know what is going to work for uh, uh, for potions. Let's go ahead and we can grab all of these and we can see what potions we're actually going to be able to make. We've got a damage health potion and I and we don't know what. Okay, that's a very low value. Palmer ear. Those aren't going to be very much value at all. Okay, let's... Uh, oh, we also need to go ahead and swap stones uh, to speed, er, to our Thief Stone instead. Uh, because that is going to give us a bonus with uh, Alchemy Learning. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, now we have to drop all these ingredients off. And I think I will stop by Arcadia again just to see if she has any more recipes for us. Looks like we did have a couple danger hearts, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Oops. Resist frost from virus. Frost salts. Didn't mean to eat those. Whoops. Takes far too long. There we go. Let's head over to the stones. What are we going to need first? I think we need to head over to the guardian stones to remove the lover stone ability from our ethereal crown. Or, actually, I think all we need to do is unequip the the crown, and then it won't um, swap standing stones. In that case, we should be able to activate the thief stone. Mage stone remo uh, removed, thief stone added. Good enough for me. And then over to Whiterun, talk to Arcadia, buy some recipes, and possibly a couple more ingredients, I suppose. And I don't think I brought anything uh, of a enchanted nature to sell. Well, these are all ingredients. Thank you, Arcadia. Uh, but or yes, Dobert. town. How can I help you? You can go ahead and uh, grab those. Thank you. Some tundra cotton. Didn't realize how many flowers there were, there were around here. Those will do. Okay, Arcadia, you have anything for us? Got Let's see. Just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. You look rather pale. Could be a taxi. So, you're interested in my potions and ingredients? No, your recipes more like. Visibility potion. I think that's supposed to be uh, valuable. Come back anytime if you need a remedy. Alright, I had a list on the other screen here of a couple things that were uh, going to be valuable enchantments. Let me go ahead and pull that up again. Uh, valuable single effects in potions as well as valuable ingredients that we could use. Let's head home. And with this information, we're looking for things like Paralysis, Damage Magicka Regen, Damage Stamina Regen, Invisibility, Slow, Fortify Carry Weight, 
and the different regenerated, regenerative effects, like regenerate health, stamina, and magicka. And the ingredients that we would like to use, things like Death Bell, Giant's Toe, River Betty, and Salmon Row, if we have if we have them. I'm just going to go ahead, grab all of them, and we're look, going to look at all the potions. Uh, but first, let's put our Fortify in, uh, Alchemy gear on. We're looking for iron, our silver garnet ring, and that gold necklace somewhere. That one. And one more thing. I forgot to uh, grab our well-rested effect again. So we'll go ahead and grab that. I am moving too slowly. Uh, so yeah, we gotta sleep. I'm gonna grab the bed through there. Oh, I thought. Should really get look at getting another uh, word of whirlwind sprint. I don't exactly remember where those are though. If you know, go ahead and leave it down in the comments. Uh, skirmisher shot. Okay, I was just looking at the potions there. All right, so paralysis, damage, magic, or regen. Uh, damage, stamina, regen, invisibility, slow. Fortify carry weight. Or regenerate health, stamina, or magicka. We don't have any regeneration of, um, options. I'm going to look at any of the... Or I'm going to look at some of the recipes that we got there. Damage health recipe. Skeever tail and void zolts. Fear poison recipe. Is that something that's valuable? Okay, I, I thought it might have been. Oops, nope. Uh, invisibility po potion recipe. Luna moth wing and chorus eggs. And ice wraith teeth and chorus eggs. So ice wraith teeth. And Luna Moth Ring, not Moth Wings. Let's go ahead and see if we get, can use any of those. We're looking for Ice Wraith Teeth. Ice Wraith Teeth. Uh. There we go. Lunar Moth Wings and Chorus Eggs, right? There we go. Potion of Unknown Effect. That is a very nice potion. Okay, then. That's worth 1,012 value. And Alchemy increased right away. Uh, it's going to take a lot of potions in order to uh, get our level up there. And we don't exactly have a lot of those ingredients. So let's see if we can find the lunar uh, moth... Or lunar moth wings, only two of those. And that will actually drain target magicka by 50 points as well. Drain magicka was another one of those valuable enchantments, right? No, that was Drain Magicka Regen. I see. Alright. Damage Magicka isn't one of those uh, good things. We want to find Regen. Skeever Tail damages Stamina Regen. Ravage Health? What is that? I'd love to know, but we don't have anything for it. Actually, we have Skeever Tail, and that's about it. 
So a lot of a lot of the stuff we don't know how to make because we haven't learned the effects of their ingredients. For example, uh, we can just look at Jazbay grapes and unknown effect. Why? Because all we know that is that it has weakness to magic, and that's it. Lavender entirely unknown to us. So if we were to look up over here. And I suppose I could show you guys this. If we were to look up over here, uh, invisibility, which is something that we are doing, uh, creating, we are looking for what ingredients? Nernroot, Chorus eggs, Crimson Nernroot, Ice Wraith teeth, Luna Mothwing, Vampire dust. Uh, that, we might have some of that. Ash Creep Cluster. A bunch of Creation Club stuff that I don't think I've ever seen. Uh, so let's look for Vampire Dust and Nern Root. I think we're needing Nern Roots for quests, possibly, but... Okay. Luna Mothwing and Vampire Dust would be a good combination. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, Chor Cor Chorus Eggs. And Vampire Dust. And we want Crim... Or we want Nern Roots. I don't really want to give up our Nern, Nern Roots. We do have some, though. Vampire Dust. That'll be right near the bottom. We only have two of them as well. The only other ingredients we have is Chorus Eggs and Vampire Dust. Invisibility for 83 seconds, though. That's a long time. Okay, Death Bell is apparently something that increased our the effectiveness of our potions. So what if we were to look over here... And search up Death Bell. How do how would we do that? Right here. It has what effects? Damage health, ravage stamina, slow and weakness to poison. Slow would be good when paired with large antlers, salt. We can do that. Uh, what is this thing? Multiple effects with River Betty, huh? Let's try out large antlers and salt piles paired with Death Bell. Uh, large antlers and salt piles, yes. Poison of Slow is 758 value. That's not bad. Not great, but not bad. Uh, also, let's try salt. 758 as well for that one. Okay. Uh, what else can we learn from this? Uh, ravage stamina, weakness to poison, damage health. Okay, we're gonna look for other high value uh, enchantments here. Valuable single effects. Paralysis. What can use, or what can we do with paralysis? Well, we could use Canis Root, Briarheart, Human Flesh, Imp Stool, Swamp Fungal Pod, and Gleam Blossom, Netch Jelly. Okay, some of those things. Uh, I'm going to. Oh yes, I I, tur I switched my background over to uh, uh, to uh, a bard's tale wallpaper because I've been enjoying it so much. Uh, let's see. I want to. Uh... Now I forget. I do have River Betty here. Uh, looking for. Not uh, Death Bell anymore. 
Let's go ahead and use... I think it was human heart and something else. And no, human flesh. And imp stool and swamp fungal pods. Uh, swamp fungal pods. Where can we find some of those? We don't have very many of them. Restore our target is paralyzed for 17 seconds. Restore 104 points of health. I guess they both have restore health bonuses. Okay. What if we were to pair uh instead? Where's that human flesh? I have human heart, but I don't have human flesh. Okay. No, don't quit. I want to alt tab and look at Canis root. I think we should have some of that. There we go. That's good. 896. Also pretty decent. So Canis root has paralysis. And if we paired that with the imp stool and removed the other thing. It would make another one of the same potions. And... Do we have any Briar Hearts? That might be good for us. Briar Heart. We only have two of them. Okay. Briar Heart paired with... I forget what that other thing was. I think we don't have any more of it. Paralysis. Oh, we can technically wait and make one more of them. And invisibility. We can make one more of them as well. Actually, I shouldn't be using the last of the ingredients. Because we need to learn all of those things. Damage stamina. 133. Magica, 162. Yeah, these. Oh, 392. Specifically because we're pairing it with River Betty. River Betty very much increases the value of any potion. Hey. What else do we have here? Weakness to magic. 156. Slow with Death Bell. Let's make some of those. Alchemy increased to 58. And any other potions? Okay, what about the uh, damaging... Where did our thing go here? Damage magic or regen. What are we looking at for that? We're looking for Chorus Hunter and Tenne, Ancestor Mothwing, Burnt Spriggenwood. Okay. Let's see if we can find any of that. Uh, Chorus and Tenne, huh? Chorus Hunter and Tenne, and I forget what the other things are already. Ancestor Mothwing and Burnt Spriggenwood. Spriggenwood. I don't have any of those other things. Can't do that one. Okay. Next tip. Or next, uh... Next effect. Damage, stamina, regen. Looking for valuable effects here. Yellow Mountain Flower. Frost Miriam. Giant's Toe. Pissed Carp. Juniper Berries. Large... Antlers, creep clusters, silver side perch, wheat, skeever tail. We got we should have some skeever tail around. I didn't exactly absorb all of that info. Frost Miriam was one of those things though. I remember that much.
And Giant's Toe is also one. That one was worth 494, but I hear that Giant's Toe increases the value of potions, so I'm going to try again with something else here. I think there are some things that reduce the value of potions, but I'm not exactly sure. Uh, Hiss Carp. 494 as well. And... Large Antlers will be able to pair with... Something else. Do we have any of those yellow flowers? Nope. Juniper berries and wheat. Skeever tail. We don't have very much skeever tail, actually. Decreases target stamina regeneration by 100% for 84 seconds. Okay then, another 494 potion. I... What else are we looking for? Wheat. Wheat can be paired with something, right? Uh, there are more creep cust clusters, silver sided perch, and juniper berries. Here we go. Juniper berries. We've got a few of those. Oh, juniper berries and wheat, please. Okay, with alchemy at level 60, we should be able to increase the value of our potions again here. Oh, I guess I should be looking to see what we need for a fortify enchanting potion. Because fortify enchanting is going to be very important. I need to find Skyrim fortify enchanting. There we go. No berries is one of the things. Taurus, Hunter, and Tenne. Hagraven, Claw, Spriggan, Sap, Blue Butterfly, butterfly Wings. Alright, so we'll need to keep some of those things so that we are able to make our Fortify Enchanting Potions. Um, Fortify Carry Weight, what about that? We are looking for things like Giant's Toe, Scaly, Fitoli, or Foliota, Hawkbeak, River Betty, Creep Cluster, and Wisp Wrappings. Alright, well, before we continue, let's go ahead and increase our alchemy. That uh, we can now make potions and poisons, uh, 80%, or another 20% stronger. And we cannot grab perks in Experimenter yet, unfortunately. And I'm just going to check to make sure we still have our XP bonus here. Oh. Uh, since we're using our helmet, we're not getting our lever stone. However, we do have thief stone and well rested bonus. Taurus eggs mixed with something. This potion of invisibility is very good. Luna Mothwing, we want to keep around though. It seems like that's one of the things that makes a or makes a potion very valuable. Damage Magica. Oh, 
Okay. What about other things here? Yeah, that's invisibility. Slow. Yep. 183. Damage, stamina, regen. We already know that that's an okay potion. Pretty good. Uh, damage, stamina is... Oh, no. Uh, clear. 153. So we're getting to the point where potions aren't nearly as good anymore. And how do we make other effects, huh? Yeah, 1377 is very good on that one. And what else? We're actually less effective on poisons. How about we mix some random things together? That might not be the smartest idea. What is bone meal? What can bone meal do? We have a bit of bone meal. There we go. We're looking for damage stamina, resist fire, fortify conjuration, and ravage stamina. Okay. When combined with... Uh, well, I'm not sure what's the better... What's the better bonuses here? Spider eggs. Do we have a bunch of spider eggs? I think we used all of those already. Snowberries, Lavender, Deathbell, Thistle Branch. Honestly, I'm not exactly sure what we have a lot of. Dwarven Oil, Weakness to Magic. We have a bit of Dwarven Oil. Balmer eel, Ear. What happens when we combine things? Potion creation fails. And I don't think we get any bonus to it. Alright, figured out a try. More flesh, huh? Yeah, that probably I had something. Ah, nice. We found something good here. Discovered effects. Damage magic or regen on both Mort Flesh and Nightshade, as well as damage health. I can make a few of those, then. Purple Mountain Flower. We have a bit of. Honestly, we just need a lot of... We just need a lot of ingredients, huh? And more levels. So that we can eat these ingredients and f learn what they do. Those are very not valuable potions, and they give next to no XP either. Very low value potions. Damage, stamina, regen is going to be very effective. However, we don't have much on the way of ingredients. So, I think we'll go ahead and take a bit of a pause there. Uh, put our ingredients back. Go and hunt down some ingredients from all the different alchemy shops. And we will be back. Okay, so we're back here. Uh, I went to a bunch of different alchemy shops, bought out everything that they had, and I even sold a few of the potions that we had made. So, let's continue on with the potion crafting. Uh, let's just keep on making some of these.
There we go. And that's all the death bells gone. We did get a few levels off of that, and that's good, but we're going to need a lot more than that, which is kind of my concern. At least it's rather uh, quick to actually, uh, well, craft potions instead of uh, enchantments. Paralysis. Make a few of those. All right, invisibility. We did get another lunar moth wing. That's quite nice. Oops, I didn't mean to do that other other thing. That was a shame. Okay, we have leveled up. We'll be able to put points into Magicka again. And one more level in Alchemy, and then we should be able to get a, a another bonus here. Juniper berries and wheat. I believe those are pretty good combinations there. go and I, yeah that was it for stamina regen huh damage magicka regen or what else had dam damage magicka regen let's go ahead and uh, find out damage magicka regen I yeah I totally forget Hanging Moss, Spriggan Sap, Glow Dust, Spider Eggs. Okay, there's a big list here. Blue Mountain Flower. Let's pair Blue Mountain Flower with some Nightshade. That's pretty good. And we're actually able to get, well, our level up, increasing our Magicka again. And level 70 Alchemy will allow us to gain the Experimenter perk. One more to go, and that'll take level 90. So, it is taking a good while to uh, level up our Alchemy. Mostly, it's just an issue of ingredients. And we're not concerned about the initial few, or for these few perks for uh, potions. Potions you mix with beneficial effects have 25% greater magnitude. Health, stamina, and magicka restoration are 25% more powerful. Poisons you mix are 25% more effective. That might be a good thing to have, at least for... Uh, at least for grabbing from, like, increasing our level, but... Spending a perk point on that? That's a little much. Considering, I don't even know if we're going to be able to... Uh, re to, to change that anymore. Let's see. Damage magic regen. Grab a few more of those, and then we're looking also for glow dust, spider egg, spriggan sap. Let's see, glow dust, do we have any of that? We do. Ah, and also fortify destruction. That is a very nice valuable potion. I'm okay with making a couple more of those. And let's see, a couple more. Hanging Moss, Spriggan Sap, Human Heart.
spider egg. Okay, uh, damage, magic, regen, and damage health from human heart. Let's see. Uh, spider eggs were here, right? Okay, that's another one. Nightshade, we've got one more. Uh, hanging moss, did I grab that one yet? Okay, let's... Uh, how many of the spider eggs do I have? Probably a few. There we go. That's another one. And we're also looking for... Spriggan sap. Chicken's egg. Okay, let's go with chicken egg. There we go. Spriggan sap. We'll find over here, if we have any. And there are a lot of uh, damage or magic or regen bon uh, things here. Let's see. Bear claws. Blue butterfly wing has fortify enchanting. We don't want to mess with that. Low dust. I think we already tried one of them. Yes. So is there anything else we wanted to grab? I... Uh, we could try Bear Claw. We can try Bear Claw. We have a few of those. Okay, 73 in Alchemy now. Ah, Fortify One-Handed from Hanging mo Moss and Bear Claws. I want to save some of, some of those then. Although it also will damage Magicka Regen. And Fortify Health as well. That's a lot of benefits. Or, well, a lot of different things. Decrease Magic Regeneration by 100%. One-handed weapons do 80% more damage for 60 seconds. Wow. Health is increased by 80 points for 60 seconds. That sounds lovely. I mean... If we, of course, use Fortify One-Handed, we'll get the same potion. We'll definitely want to save some of those ingredients, though, because those will be very nice. Uh, damage, damage, regen. Uh, damage, magic, regen. Okay, we don't want to use any more of those up. Invisibility. No more of those. Low. No more of those. Okay, what else can we do? Regenerate health. Regenerate stamina. I hear those are very, very good effects for using them. Bees. Fly am anima um, amanitas. Scaly. Follow... Foliotas, Mori, or Mora Tapinellas, all the funky sounding ones. Let's see if we have some of those. We have a bee, Fly Amania, Scaly Foliotas, 
Fly and Anita. There we go. Daily. The other things. There we go. And. What else? Mori Tapinella. There we go. So regenerate stamina. We can make some more of those. And we're going to try now regenerate health, I think, and regenerate magicka. Okay. Regenerate health is going to... Excuse me. Uh, we're going to find things like garlic, juniper berries, we don't want to use our Luna Moth Rings, we got Nordic Barnacles, Numero's Rot. Lots of stuff here. Primarily garlic and juniper berries, I believe. Clear our selections. We're looking for garlic and juniper berries. Fifteen of those. Juniper berries, we only have a single one. Okay, then. Nordic Barnacle and Namira's Rot. How about those? Uh, let's see. Regenerate health. That is valuable, yes. Nordic Barnacle. Regenerate health again. And Vampire Dust is another thing we're looking for. We are all out of Vampire Dust, though. Okay, well... What else can we find here? Regenerate Magicka was the other thing. And we'll find... Uh, well, I don't know. Salt Pile. Regenerate Magicka. Although it also has weakness to magic, so we'll have to be careful with that one. So we don't want to pair it with Dwarven Oil. We can pair it with a Frost Salt, or with Fire Salt. And that might be good. Let's go, let's try Salt Pile and Frost Salt. Also, if we wanted to add another effect. Well, there is Garlic. I'm not sure. If we can add anything else here. Okay, let's go ahead and try out the salt pyre, pile and frost salt. And also salt and garlic will work as well. Uh, where are our salt piles? Here we go. Salt and garlic. Magic Regeneration. Salt and Fire Salt. Magic Regeneration. So we don't need to use too many of those, because we've got a quest for those. To return to Balamund. Yes. To complete that quest. Uh, Dwarven Oil, when paired with something other than salt. Uh, like, Moon Sugar. Any chance we have Moon Sugar? We have one moon sugar, and we could pair that with our dwarven oil. Or we could leave it for a little bit. Taproot with uh, dwarven oil. Let's try that. Taproot. Do we have any taproot? Let's see. Taproot. And... Okay, I'm going to... Find okay, we don't want to use up our fire salts. Uh, dwarven oil. Wow, yeah, I didn't realize it was also. Wow, okay, for regenerate magicka, fortify illusion, weakness to magic, restore magic. 
So we just made a potion of regenerate magicka, giving us lots of magicka, boosting our illusion spells, uh, making a target weaker to magic, making us weaker to magic, and restoring 158 points of magicka. Okay then. And regenerate magicka was the potion, right? That's a good quality potion. Dorvin oil and garlic can be paired together. Except we don't want Dorvin oil and salt to be paired together because we'll get a different potion. Weakness to magic. Salt bio. Yes. Actually, I think that does actually increase the value of the potion. Which is funny. So, we may as well. Okay, we are two levels away from level 80. And... Yeah, how are we going to continue on here? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We'll probably need more materials here. Fortify health. Fortify illusion. Fortify one-handed. Invisibility. Regenerate health. Regenerate magicka. Regenerate stamina. Resist frost. That's an okay potion. We can use those things for other things, I think, though. Probably. Restore stamina. Red Mountain Flower and Dwarven Oil are... Yeah, that's not a very valuable potion, either. Weakness to Magicka. Not a very valuable potion. Okay. What are the chances any of the shops have reset, though? Oh, and we're slow. It would be nice if we could buy some more things, though. We now have six danger hearts. Which means, if we'd like to, we could go probably and finish off smithing by making a full set of the danger plate. I'd actually love to see that. And we'll probably do that... Well, we'll probably make a bit of fortify smithing gear. And maybe even a Fortify Smithing Potion. I think those are both options. Uh, Restore... Or, or Fortify Heavy Armor learned from White Cap. Interesting. <laughs> Didn't mean to eat it, but okay. Alright. So, I'm gonna go ahead to the shops. See, see what they have. And if they don't have nothing... Or if they don't have anything, we'll be back. And hopefully we can find some more ingredients that we'll be able to use or make more potions out of. There we go. I have completed, uh, I think, three? I don't know if it was four. Uh, full runs of the an entire loop from home to Markarth to Solitude all the way over to Windhelm and then over to Grifton and then back to Whiterun. And that was the loop that I did. And I managed to... Uh, each time, they had things to sell to sell me. Ingredients. And then I sent... Sold them, or I traded them some potions and uh, got, some, got a little bit of money off them. And uh, I don't have Morthal yet. I don't have Dawnstar. I know there are uh, alchemists in there, but... We didn't get to it. Oh, I guess Falkreath as well. Anyways. Let us resume with some alchemy training. So, what can we find for other potions? Uh, oh. I guess I should pick up the other, other ingredients that I left behind. There we are. Looks like we got three extra fire salts. Oh, I guess four extra fire salts since last time. Or something like that. Okay. 
using Alchemy Lab. Okay, which potions did we say were the really good ones here? There was some po uh, Fortify One-Handed. We're not going to do any more of those. Uh, we can get more invisibility ones. I'm not going to do the Luna Moth Wraith. Or er, moth, uh, moth Wing, though. That one's 1286. 1489. Okay, we'll do one of them. There we go. Paralysis. Okay. Damage, health. Uh, Canistry, I actually don't know much about, but this is restore health and paralysis versus just a restore health. Or just a paralysis. Let's go ahead and craft those ones up. Whoops, I meant to kept one, keep one of them still around. Regeneration. Those ones will be valuable. Oh. Oh. Clear sections, please. Ah, so this one is for 1078. This one is for 876. And once again, I forgot to grab our 10% bonus from... Oh, bother. I'll be back. I was just saying we had forgotten our 10% bonus from the well-rested benefit. Oh, not Arcane Enchanter. Let's try the other thing. Thank you. Alchemy Lab. All right. We're back here again. Damage Magicka Regen was one of the things that we needed. And we've got plenty of Blue Mountain Flowers... I'm just going to go ahead and combine this with everything. That was a very valuable potion. Oh, I don't want to use the bear claws. Bear claws is the it is off the list. That's not allowed. That's our fortify one-handed. Okay, chicken egg. Glow dust. Hanging moss. Was that our other fortify one-handed? Yes, it was. I don't want to use those. Nightshade. Spider Egg. Spriggan Sap. And... No, oh, I don't want to use Hanging Mosses. Oops. Okay, Alchemy increased to 82. On that note, uh, we can actually increase our Alchemy skill. Let's see. There we are. Max Alchemist perk. Wonderful. We're almost there. Almost there. Okay. We're at 82. We need to get to 100. And... It'll take a little bit longer than it... Than... Yeah, it'll take a little bit. Let's see. Any more magic or regen bonuses? Hanging moss? Don't want to touch. So, no. Wheat and Skeever Tail. Wheat and Silver Side Perch. Wheat and Juniper Berry. Wheat and Hiscarp. Wheat and Giant's Toe. I'm not going to use Giant's Toe because those are actually a valuable uh, equipment as well. Or valuable. Okay. Stamina Regen. I'm just going to pair a few bonuses. Silverside Perch and Skeever Tail. Silverside Perch has Ravage Health. So it'll do 46 points of concentrated poison damage. Whatever that is. I don't know. That seemed to have actually decreased the value of the potion, however. No, it didn't. We're okay here. Okay, but I will go ahead and uh, use a bit more of this. Juniper Berries, I think, was used for something else, so maybe I should just go ahead and... Uh... Ah, I'll use this. There we go. I'll use it up. Fortify Illusion. That was supposed to be a 
a really good potion, right? Potion of Regenerate Magicka. So if we can get some more taproots, that would be lovely. Because look how much uh, value that one has. Okay, invisibility now? Right, we already did that one. Paralysis, we did that one. Regenerate health with garlic, Numeris rot. Actually, this one is more valuable here. Uh, where was that? Regenerate health? Yes, it was. Okay, I'll, I'll use one of each of them here, and then the rest. There we go. And Magicka. Okay, so we do have salt and dwarven oil. Although, as I mentioned before, I don't really want to use... Actually, no. I will combine dwarven oil and salt. Even though it makes a potion that... Uh, has a detrimental effect, it does still increase the value, total value of the potion. Very nice. Okay. Regenerate stamina. Make one of those, make one of those, make one of those, make one of those. Ah, Fortify Illusion. Good to know. Alchemy increased to 89. Almost there, almost there. Slow Potion. Death Bell and Salt, huh? Weakness to Frost. That's not going to be a valuable potion, huh? Anything else we've got here? I'm looking. I'm not finding. Stamina regen? Let's go ahead and make one of them. We could combine use a giant's toe for it. That's fine. And it also has fortify health. Health is increased by 118 points for 300 seconds. So that's the giant's toe, and that's the special effect that I was mentioning is when Giant's Toe is combined or with another region, um, Fortify Health benefit, it will automatically increase the time health is increased to up to 300 se seconds, greatly enhancing the value of the potion. That was a 3,523 value potion. So that was, oh, that, so that was a very valuable potion. And that is something that you want to combine other Fortify Health effects with. This one is 2805. Let's try that. And Hanging Moss, another 2805. And there we are. Alchemy increased to 90. Which means we'll be able to go ahead and grab that last perk that we needed in our alchemy tree, which will be the experimenter three of three. So now, eating an ingredient will reveal all of its effects. So now we don't need to do any guesswork. We can just grab all of the ingredients that we have and eat one of each of them. And then we learn all of its effects. Here, let's just do this with uh, keys. We're going to be learning a lot of effects now. Frenzy effect.
So there we are. All of those benefit, all of those ingredients, and more that we made sure to keep only one of. Uh, we have gotten a bunch of knowledge on all of these things, and that'll be going for quite a while up in the corner. All of the things that we have learned. So now we should find these are going to be a lot more full. These uh, all of these bonus effects. And we have things here that we never knew existed. Fortify carry weight, for example. We could use Creep Cluster and River Betty. Or Creep, Creep Cluster and Hawk Meek. Or Creep Cluster and Giant's Toe. For incre or decreasing the target stamina, regeneration, and increasing carrying capacity. Uh, we're not going to be using the Giant's Toe or the uh, River Betty, though. Uh, because they each have special effects and increase the potion value by a uh, much higher amount. Now I'm free to use all of the ingredients, and I'm not going to have to worry about uh, all of the... or ke keeping at least one ingredient of each potion. So, Stamina Regen. We can now use Creep Cluster for those. And Danger Hearts. I want to save some Danger Hearts because we... Because those are both very expensive. Ridiculously expensive. And very rare. Let's go with Damage Magicka Regen. Could we get anything from here? I don't want to do tank Hanging Moss. But that'll be nice. Oh, blue butterfly wing. Fortify enchanting. We need the. Okay, we can use Hagrave and Claw and Snowberries. So as long as we keep Hagrave and Claw, we'll be okay. So I can go ahead and do that last potion. Alright, that's a good, good quality potion there. Let's see. Fortify barter. That might be nice. I go for 30% pr better prices? I'm gonna make a bunch of those just for the sake of using them before I sell all my potions. Alright. Maybe I should have been doing that from the start. Grass pod and river betty, huh? For a fortify alteration. Interesting. Let's see, what else do we have here? Fortify Heavy Armor. And Resist Frost. That's cool, I've never actually done the... Uh, used the Experimenter perk properly. This is cool, having all of this information to available to me now. Lockpicking. Magicka, Marksman... Fortify one-handed, we have now more things that we could use. That's cool. Pickpocket, restoration, smithing, sneak, stamina, two-handed, frenzy, invisibility. Ah, yes, right. Nernroot was one of those things that we could use, and also Crimson Nernroot. I will craft a few of them. I don't really want to because I want to figure out what the quest is about the Nern Root. Probably not going to need to do it, or probably not going to do it, actually. So I'm just going to use them all up. Uh, Briar Heart and Canis Root. Regenerate Magicka. Fire Salt and Moon Jigger. Very nice. And Taproot. And Jazz Bay Grapes. As long as we keep at least 10 Fire Salts on us, we'll be okay here. Death Bell and River Betty. Potion of Slow. And what else? 
Well, that's 95 in alchemy now. Okay. It, that's That's been getting good here, huh? Let's see. Any other good high value uh, potions? What is our fortify enchanting potion, potion saying now? Items enchanted 30% stronger. Okay. Not bad. Damage Magicka. Was that a decent health potion? Uh, I mean, decent price potion? No, it wasn't. Creep Cluster and... Uh, Giant's Toe creates a fortified carry weight and decreases target stamina regen. Okay. Fear Potion. 552. Carry weight. Right, that was that one. What about Bone Meal? We combine we can combine that for a fortify conjuration potion. Bone meal and lavender, you know what? I can make a ton of you. Uh what is lavender used with? Resist magic, ravage magica, fortify stamina, fortify conjuration, huh? And bone mill? Damage stamina, resist fire, ravage stamina. What about a resist fire? Okay, let's go ahead and. Wow, resist 91% fire damage. I'm not going to really use any of these uh, other ingredients. I'll combine the bone meal with them. Snowberries is fortify enchanting. We have a fair few of them, though. We're almost there at 88, just about at 99. Or 90, 98, just about 99. Purple mountain flower and slaughterfish scales. Frost salts. Slaughterfish scales and thistle. Very nice. That'll be another level up there. We're almost at a hundred. Okay, what else can we do here? Egg Raven Claw, that's enchanting. Don't want to touch that one. Uh Void Salts. Sure. With lavender? It's not very... Uh, it's not a very valuable potion. Let's find something else. Weakness to fire. 225. 338 for weakness to frost. Weakness to magic. Weakness to shock. Okay, what else can we do to get uh, to get enough? What about lingering potions? Oh, that's a fortified pickpocket. Interesting. All right then, let's go ahead and craft that up. Lingering. Uh, oh, I guess I'm out of those now. Frenzy potions. We can make a few of those, and that will get us all the way up. 200. And we are finally finished alchemy. There we go. So, with our alchemy equipment, let's go ahead and make a few potions of fortify enchanting now. Now items will be enchanted 31% stronger. Okay, we've got two of them. Now, we can quit alchemy, 
we could head over to enchanting again. And ingredients. Honestly, I don't think dropping all my ingredients is going to help anymore. I'm going to save the blutter butterfly... No, that's butterfly wings, not blue butterfly wings. I want to save... Okay. I want to save the fortify enchanting uh, things. Oops, no, stop using hanging moss. I don't want to use that. I want to uh, store it. Nope, stop using store. 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 Okay, we're good now. All right. And this is still going for all of the things that I discovered a while ago. That's impressive. Okay. Arcane Enchanter. We can currently make, uh, let's see, uh, for the sake of it right now, I'm going to go ahead and grab, uh, I'm going to put the stuff that we already have, uh, or that we're not going to be immediately enchanting into here. Gold emerald ring. Gold necklace. Ruby necklace. Silver amethyst ring. I don't want to put anything that's not enchanted that I'm not using in there. Because I do not want to uh, spend the time looking through things. We're going to be enchanting the steel stuff next. Silver sapphire. Okay, silver garnet ring we have here, silver amethyst ring, silver necklace. Gold rings. There we go. Some of the stuff I cannot do anything with. Okay, so. We're going to be trying the shout again. I don't know if the shout does anything, but we're going to try it. We're going to grab a potion of Fortify Enchanting. So it is now going to be 31% stronger. Hey! And we need to enchant our Steel Horned Helmet with Fortify Alchemy. Now 29% more powerful. Nordic Gauntlets. Fortify Alchemy. 29%. Silver Necklace. And Silver Amethyst Ring. Ah, uh, it is now only 25% more powerful. So we're going to have to use that last potion. That's why I made two of them, just in case. Fortify Alchemy, and there we go, 29%. So now, if we put on the new set... And remove the... Uh, get rid of the old set. Let's see. Silver Amethyst Ring. 
Silver Necklace, Steel Horned Helmet, and Nordic Gauntlets. How much of a benefit we're actually going to get, I do not know. I do not know. Let's see what we can get for our Enchanting Potion. So now, items are enchanted 32% stronger. Not much of a bonus. But, it's something. And that will stack. Ever so slightly. I'm going to grab another ring. Gold necklace and gold ruby necklace. Or maybe instead a gold jeweled necklace. That's going to be it. Yeah, let's go with that. And then is... Is that our Dwarven stuff next? I think so. Okay, Dwarven helmet, Dwar Dwarven gauntlets. And... Okay. I want to put back the things that we're not going to be enchanting. So, the stuff that we just, uh, this, the stuff that's outdated. Okay. There we go. Of course, we got to d use our potion of Fortify Enchanting of 32% stronger. Item. Gold Jeweled Necklace, Enchantment, Fortify Alchemy, Grand Soul Gem. Dwarven Gauntlets. Dwarven Helmet. I don't actually know if that's giving us any bonus here. Okay, Potion of Enchanting, again here. Enchant. Uh, we don't have anything else to enchant. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, let's check our apparel. Let's see if it has any bonus. Created bonus potions, 29% more powerful. These both say 29%. It says there isn't a bonus, but there might be a little bonus with the rounding that still might be a bit stronger for us. So, I think I was missing a ring there as well. And... Was I missing a ring? Do we have a ring to enchant here? Silver amethyst ring. Yeah, I was missing a ring. Okay, gold ring. We'll need to exit, and then we'll need to go over here. Use Alchemy Lab once again. Create a potion of 32% stronger. Quit Alchemy. Drink that potion. Start enchanting. Enchant the... Why can't I enchant this golden ring? Oh, come on. I need a... Okay, gold emerald ring. Fine. You. You're going to get Fortify Alchemy. Thank you. Not exactly a matching set, but it'll do. It'll do. Okay, so now I want to give the things that I have equipped. This one. This one. And the steel set. Apparently. Oh, that's why. Because I grabbed a gold ring that already was enchanted. That's what happened there. 
All right, gold emerald ring and gold jeweled necklace now. Dwarven gauntlets and Dwarven helmet. And we are now going to be able to make Fortify Enchanting Potions of 32% stronger. I guess we're not getting any... Uh, we're not getting anything better now. Seems like we have reached the end. So, 32% stronger in, um, enchanting now. Which means we will now be able to make all of the gear that we want here. And so that is it for all of our leveling. Alchemy is at 100. Enchanting is at 100. And we'll be moving on to some other skills like restoration and heavy armor and block and possibly, hopefully, alteration. So, uh, I'll figure out how we're going to do all that. We probably could do Restoration, Heavy Armor, and Block all together. Maybe. Maybe. But we'll see. Anyways, we have more, or we, we still have to, um, equip, or we have to still craft all of the armor and such that we're going to be making. We have with uh we're, we're going to be using the Daedric plate and we'll uh we'll do that later probably on stream. So, uh if you want to go uh see the um our final products of all of our smithing and um and other skills like that, go ahead and check out our stream. We do stream on Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays. From 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. Central Standard Time, we have Mondays, uh, Skyrim, uh, Conan is Wednesdays, and For the King, uh, nope, not For the King anymore, we're finished that series. Uh, Fridays is going to be, I think we're going to be moving on to Enshrouded. Hope to see you all there, and yeah, that's all of the um, enchanting and leveling XP that we're going to be needing. Of course, we do have more skills uh, perk points left. Four of them, so we'll be able to increase enchanting. Uh, and we're going to be in able to increase others as well. But we still will need more levels in things like heavy armor, block. Uh, we're going to need some more levels still to uh, get all of the... Well, all of these perk points that we're going to need here. And, do, and, yeah, we're probably going to keep some of these things. Uh, not going to be a po much of a poisoner. 50% resistance poison is going to be worthwhile, combat-wise. And we are going to be wanting to craft some good potions for ourselves. So, we will need a lot more perks with that. Considering that we're going to need more enchanting perks, like fire... Frost and Storm. We're going to be needing uh, Health, Magicka, and Stamina enchantments, 25% stronger, as well as especially the extra effect perk. And uh, nothing left of smithing. So we're probably going to be doing uh, before we get into the crafting and enchanting of our armor. Since we're going to be needing a lot more perk points, we're probably going to be increasing our heavy armor skill. That's going to equip or er, increase quite quickly, since uh, it is a very low level. And we're also going to be doing yes, restoration, alteration. Anyways, well, I hope to see you in stream games, everyone. Thank you all for joining us, and we'll see you also in the next leveling episode. Farewell, all.